Listen here, you chimichang, deep-throated motherfucker. This movie is perfection. This movie is better than Victoria Justice finger-banging my mouth with her index and middle covered in blue bunny ice cream. I'm talking about Rocky Road, bitches. This movie is better than if I were to imagine the birth of my first child, which, yes, I have not experienced, at least to the court. But if I did, this movie's better than that. So sorry, future... I don't know, Bob. I haven't come up with your fucking name yet. Your name doesn't fucking matter. As far as I'm concerned, your bitch-ass name will be Child Pool, okay? No human trafficking jokes. We don't roll that way. Child Pool, bro. Because this movie is fucking fantastic. This movie is a 11 out of 10. I gotta give it an 11 out of 10. You can't beat this shit. And that's it for my spoiler-free review. Okay, well, I'm lying. I'll do a little bit more than that. But all you need to know is you need to buy a fucking popcorn. You need to buy some nachos with jalapenos. Yeah, your asshole's gonna be on fire the next day. I don't give a fuck. You need to spice up your life for this film. And you need a big-ass drink. You need your girl or your homies with you. You need to cut a hole in the bottom of that popcorn bucket for unknown reasons. And you need to get your ass to a dark-ass movie theater and watch this film because it's a fucking amazing experience. This movie, yes, is the Marvel Jesus for the cinematic universe. It's confirmed, I can vouch for that. So let's get into the review. Yo, yo, suit is out. Suit is out. Suit is out. This movie is fucking fantastic, yo. This movie is fucking amazing, yo. Amazing movie. It don't get better than this. It don't get better than this. It don't. This movie's perfection. Perfecto. Muy bien. Muy bien. Perfect, bro. This movie's a 10 out of 10. It's an 11 out of 10. It's a 20 out of 10. This was one of the funniest Marvel movies I've ever seen in my life. This was one of the most single-handedly badass Marvel movies that I've ever seen in my life. This was single-handedly had some of the best action scenes that I've seen in any superhero movie for a plethora of reasons. You get some amazing cameos that are going to blow your fucking pantyhose out of the water. That includes the men too. I'm talking to y'all as well. You might be wondering why you're wearing panties. Listen, you need your shit to breathe. You need your shit to breathe while you're watching this movie. Because if not, listen, man, uh, that murder boner is going to be going real crazy, yo. Rising dragon fist, yo. This movie is insane. This movie is fucking amazing, yo. I can't say that enough. This movie is everything you'd want it to be and more. This is the best Deadpool movie, hands down. This is one of the best Marvel movies of all time, hands down. This is one of the best action comedies of all time, hands down. And now you guys are probably asking the right question. Why am I covering this on my Horror Tavern channel? I cover horror. Well, bitches. Well, maybe it's just that good of a movie that I got to talk about it. All right, fair enough. But the movie is gory as hell, and it does have some horror sequences. There's a character in this movie whose powers basically do some horrific ass shit. They have some horror movie scenes um, in a certain location with a certain character. Um, so that character is the reason why I'm able to get away with doing a review on my horror channel because of the fact that it is fucking, it's horror. It's straight up disturbing, scary stuff. Um, and there's some other disturb, <laughs> disturbing and scary stuff, uh, but not for the direct reason you think it is because, man, this is a wild movie. This is a wild movie. First of all, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. There is no better casting than Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, as Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, uh, Anthony Starr as Homelander, and me as Tierra Scovby's husband. Well, that that's that's still in the works. I'm I'm still auditioning for that one. But those three are top tier. Those people are born to play those roles. Yo, this man Ryan Reynolds is one of the funniest, most charming, most awesome human beings and actors to see play Deadpool. This dude will make you laugh your ass off. This dude is dropping diss tracks the whole movie, yo. Drake was sitting there watching this movie probably an early screen and going, shit, is this how Kendrick did me? 
He did. He did. Yo, this dude went harder than Kendrick. I thought Not Like Us was about to start playing in the in the movie score. I was like, yo, where, where, where is Kendrick's diss tracks in the movie score? That should have been Ryan Reynolds' theme, bro, during this entire film. Deadpool is such a funny, amazing character. Ryan Reynolds brings him to life. You, we know Ryan Reynolds is always going to do an amazing job as Deadpool. He fucking kills it in here. He fucking... Every joke lands. The dude is a fucking monster when it comes to acting, yo. This dude is a Yonko. This dude is a Hokage. This dude is a fucking Super Saiyan when it comes to acting, bro. He's just fucking great. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Oh, my God, yo. He might be the star of the show. Listen, we all know Deadpool's the star of the show. That's guaranteed. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Fucking hell, dude. This dude plays Wolverine amazing, bro. Badass. He's, he's got some good emotional scenes that are similar to Logan. He has an interaction scenes with a few characters that are fucking crazy, yo. Like, you see him interact with certain characters, and that shit will hit you in the feel. There's a character in the movie who's able to kind of dissect the worlds and mental mindsets of Deadpool and Wolverine. When you see what's going on in this Wolf, you know, Wolverine's life, it's crazy. The shit that he's been through. So that's all insane. Uh, you got some other cameos of some amazing characters, which I can't mention, but they all gave it 150%. They all rocked that shit. They did an amazing job. You will get a ton of badass cameos in this movie. And it's not even just cameos. They got whole fucking sequences. They got whole fucking scenes dedicated to them. So it's great. Uh, there's so much good action in the movie. The action scenes in this movie are fucking fantastic uh there some of them look like straight up one shots like one takes there's blood there's gore there's stabbing there's violence you got a couple wolverine and deadpool uh fight sequences that are amazing one is like an open field one is close quarters pretty sick you got a climax fight scene between uh, Wolverine, Deadpool, and a bunch of enemies, which is very cool. You got this awesome fight scene between some of the cool cameos and the villains, so that's all badass. And you got that one character who's got powers that work a lot like something in a horror movie. Seeing them use their powers on characters is fucking yo. If you thought Scarlet Witch was lethal in Multiverse of Madness, the character in this movie and what they do is fucking crazy. The shit that they do is incredible how threatening and violent and horrific they are you know they, they not only are physically powerful with their power but they're also you know uh, mentally and emotionally powerful they know how to manipulate people they know how to get under your skin get into your mind and all this crazy stuff so s tier villain great acting from them and uh yeah the, the movie is just a whole lot of fucking fun that is what this movie is this movie is a fun fucking time you will laugh you will smile like a kid in a candy store um or me sneaking into victoria's secret you will literally be having a fun time with everybody that you're with even that one aunt or uncle that you hate even that one grandma who's always coughing out the arthritis during the screening everyone will ignore grandma arthritis during this movie yo everyone will ignore grandpa bronchitis during this movie yo fucking th this is s tier this is S tier. This is a Hall of Fame movie. And, uh, you know, I don't know if this movie is going to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We got to see what they do with the direction of it. But this movie is definitely the Messiah of Marvel right now. Uh, fucking amazing job to everybody who worked on it. All the people. Shout out to Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, all the other actors in this film. Um, you guys are all amazing, and I tip my hats off to you. I got the suit on because it's worth that. Um, I'm looking like a fucking orchestra conductor right now. But listen, man, I 100%, if I could play an or orchestra conductor in this movie, I would have done it. Because just to be a part of this movie is a fucking monumental part of history, bro. I promise you. And you might think I'm overhyping it. Go watch my shit, bro. Go watch the shit. If you think I'm overhyping it, go watch it, come out the theater, shut the fuck up. That's what it is. You watch the movie, you're like, oh, 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 BD's hyping it up, it can't be that good. You go watch it, yo, tight lip, yo, tight lip, super glue, you ain't saying shit, bro. Cat got your tongue, bro. Pussy tongue, bro. Not that way, but figuratively. Now, let's get into spoilers. I'll do brief spoilers. So I'm going to throw up my peace sign. This means spoilers are going. And when I throw down the peace sign, when it goes down, when I stop, that means that 
uh, all the spoilers are going to be done. So let's go into spoilers, yo. Fucking Deadpool's opening scene where he's dancing to bye, bye, bye while he's killing people with Wolverine's adamantium skeleton. This man digs up Wolverine skeleton. He's like, nah, nah, nah. This dude can't be dead. Yo, this is my ticket into Marvel. This dude has got regeneration. He's probably just rotting down there. You know, it's not the best life, but at least he's still alive. No, Wolverine's fucking dead. He's just straight up an adamantium skeleton left. And uh, the fucking whatever, the, the para, paradimensional police who run the different timelines in the Marvel Universe, they all come in and try to take away Deadpool. This man starts beating them up and killing them and slashing them and breaking their bones using Wolverine's adamantium skeleton. And uh, he fucking starts doing a dance number to bye, bye, bye. Yo, he's fucking dancing. He's hitting the moves. He's got all the choreography going on in tandem with this fight sequence. It's amazing, yo. And then he puts on Wolverine's uh, claws and then starts ripping apart people with it. Um, he, like, dude, he fucking puts it up a dude's ass. And then he fucking shanks the dude in his crotch. And he has to start trying to pull the fucking claws out of both. That shit was in. I was laughing my ass off, bro. One of the most absurdly funny but brutal scenes out there. Um fucking Wolverine. Wolverine is from a different timeline. Uh, Deadpool decides to use the uh, paradimensional police uh, technology to go travel through different timelines. He finds like a, a, a Wolverine that's like my height. He's like 5'2 or 4'11. Uh, he finds like a bunch of different Wolverines. He finds one Wolverine who's tied up on this X-Man cross, which I think is from like the cover of a comic or something. And then he finds Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill cameos because Henry Cavill is playing Wolverine in one timeline. So, you know, you got fucking Deadpool making uh, DC jokes talking about how the guys down the street don't treat him right, but they'll treat him right over in Marvel. He gets rejected. And then he finds the Hugh Jackman Wolverine that's in the movie. Uh, but this guy, you know, is a outcast. He's apparently fucked over everybody in the world. And that's why Deadpool basically gets the worst Wolverine to work with. Um... There's so many great fight sequences between Wolverine and Deadpool. There's one that they have out in the void. Then there's one that they have in a car. The car fight scene between Wolverine and Deadpool is so awesome, bro. Because it had an emotional punch before it. And then when you actually get to it, it's batshit crazy. It's really good. Um, Chris Evans comes and cameos in this movie. Not as Captain America. He plays Human Torch in the void. The man goes, yo, flame on. Flame on! Fire! Turns on fire and starts going crazy uh, before he gets fucked over by Deadpool. Um, you got Wesley Snipes' Blade cameoing. You got uh, Julia Roberts as Elektra. You got Channing Tatum playing Gambit. Yo, my boy Gambit. He's got the explosive. Yo, yo, yo. That didn't even flip correctly. I'm sorry to disrespect the Gambit, but... Whatever, I'm not Gambit. Yo, Channing Tatum is Gambit, which was supposed to happen, but it never occurred. So he makes a joke. He's like, I've always been, that's not his accent, but he's like, I've always been born in the void because he never hit the movie screen. So that was crazy. And he got X-23. X-23 comes back from Logan into this movie, obviously growing up with the same personality. You see her interaction scenes with this Wolverine and it's a good bonding moment at like a campfire. Crazy. And then the the ending of the movie, the climax, is Wolverine and Deadpool finding the... They're fighting the Deadpool corpse. The entire Deadpool corpse shows up and it's like lady pool, baby pool, kid pool, cowboy pool, samurai pool. All these different Deadpools from the Deadpool corpse. I think lady pool is played by his uh, Ryan Reynolds' actual wife, Blake Lively. Um, I think the cowboy western Deadpool was played by Matthew McConaughey. Um, a lot of funny shit, bro. The, the scene where Peter comes in the Deadpool costume to save the two guys and it turns out Peter's a hero. And you got that Japanese Deadpool. Yo, you got the samurai Ronin Deadpool who's got the baby arms because his arms got cut off. So he's got those tiny little ugly T-Rex baby arms. And he's like, Peter-san. Hey. And his hands can't touch because they're baby hands. So he just goes, Peter-san. Hey, yo, I was like, what the hell? One of the craziest, craziest sequences out there, bro. 
This movie is a ball of fun. You will literally have one of the best times of your life after watching it. If you are a Marvel fan, if you're a superhero fan, if you're a Deadpool fan, a Wolverine fan, you need to check out this movie ASAP. ASAP, people. And if you're not, still go check it out. I think if you at least know a few things about the movie, even if you don't keep up with everything, you're still going to enjoy it. So, again, like I said, spoilers down, this movie is a 10 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Oh my god, yo. I am head over heels, bro. And uh, that's all I got for today. We broke out of our shell doing a little bit of a different review, but listen, man. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, Charles Xavier's sister is in the movie and uh, she has some telekinetic powers and she's the one who does horror sequences because she rips the skin off of a guy and just leaves his bones there to fall. Um, the way she enters your minds is she puts your, her fingers in your head and her fingers will start to like move through your your eyeballs and through your nose and through your mouth like jelly or like worms coming out of the dirt it's nasty bro but it's some horror movie shit and of course you got that giant uh thunderstorm purple monster thing that always needs to eat people i think that might have been from the loki show but yeah yo crazy crazy but yeah perfect movie perfecto muy bien and uh 100 gets my recommendation that's all i got for today hope you guys enjoyed and uh Deuces. Yo, Victoria Justice after. If she ever sees my videos, bro, wallahi, I'm finished. She's gonna be like, I'm pressing charges. Who the fuck is this man? Listen. It ain't the first time she pressed charges on me. <laughs> Wish I were kidding. Am I? You don't know. You don't know if it's true or not. And that's the beauty of YouTube. You don't know what the fuck I say is true. Like I could say right now, yo, I've been smashing Victoria Justice for the past fucking five years. Okay, some things you guys would just never believe. Whatever.